guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Maylani Cooks, and for today's video, I wanted to make something that reminds me of the summer. So, what we're going to be making is elotes and homemade pico and homemade chips. But before the video starts, make sure you like, comment what you want to see next, and turn on post notifications for when I upload another video. So, let's put on our aprons and let's get to cooking. All right, so for the pico, we're going to need a bunch of cilantro six plum tomatoes one lime two jalapenos and one whole red onion all right so for the pico we're going to need tomatoes of course and first what we want to start off by doing is cutting the ends off then we're going to cut it in half we don't want to eat the inside, so we're going to scoop it all out with a spoon. This does get a little messy, and this should look something like this. This is what it would look like before and after. Now we want to do the same thing to the other side. Now we want to turn one half to its side cut it into slices then with each slice make little small cuts to make the dices Now we have all six Roman tomatoes diced, so now we're gonna put it in the bowl. And make sure after you grab it, if you're doing it with your hands, please wash your hands. All right, so next we're gonna cut our red onion, and you may be wondering, why is this wet paper towel here? It is for absorbing the moisture so your eyes don't get runny and you start to cry and feel that burning feeling. I know y'all hate that. So this is what this is for. So for the onion, we're gonna cut off the ends. Place it on one of the flat sides. Cut it down the middle. See, no crying yet. Slice it into thin slices like the tomatoes. So we're gonna take out this part. All right, so what makes it easy to dice these onions, they already have layers. Separate them a bit. And you have your onion dice. Now we have to do the same thing for the rest of this onion. All right, so we cut our onion and the one that I had, it was pretty large. So make sure you use a whole medium red onion or a small red onion or just half of a large red onion. All right, so next we're gonna cut our jalapenos. We have a medium one and we have a large one. So we're gonna cut the stem off first and cut the ends off like we did with all the other vegetables. Then we wanna cut it down the middle. And we're gonna keep these seeds in here because we want this to be spicy, but if you don't, you can take the seeds out. And we're gonna cut it into slices. And do the 
same type of thing with each slice. Just cut it into little pieces. Guys, what do you do after you put the ingredients in the bowl? You wash your hands. Good job. All right, so now after we put our cilantro in the bowl, we need an entire lime. So to get the juice all ready to come out, you wanna roll it and then cut it in half and squeeze each half. Oh yeah. Make sure you get all that juice in there. All right, so I only use one half of the lime. Some people in my house don't like it. All right, so now we're gonna season our pico. We're gonna do a few shakes of coarse kosher salt. We're gonna do about a tablespoon of pepper, about a teaspoon of onion powder, and a teaspoon of onion powder. All right, so now we have all of our ingredients for our pico, and now we're gonna mix it all together. Smell good, y'all. And now we're gonna let this refrigerate for at least an hour or two. All right, guys, so for the elotes, um, I'm doing the Melani way. It's not your typical elote. Um, so for the corn, um, have it prepackaged or frozen since corn isn't in season right now. I have prepackaged here. So we're gonna put our corn in the water. It's been boiling for about 20 minutes and we're gonna put it in there. Make sure your water has bubbles or it's at a complete boil. And let it boil for about 20 minutes. So after 20 minutes of the corn being boiled, um, we're gonna take it out now. and let this cool off for at least 10 minutes. All right guys, so we have our corn chilled and now we're gonna start making elotes Melani's way. So first what we wanna do is we have four tablespoons of softened butter here. We're just going to spread this butter on the corn. Next, we're gonna use Hellman's mayonnaise, or you can use any type of mayonnaise you want. And first, we wanna put a little bit on there, then take whichever instrument you're gonna use to spread it out, and spread it out across the whole corn. All right, so I have some Takis here that's crushed up and it's gonna go on the corn. And then I have some cheddar jalapeno Cheetos on the other side and we're gonna also put it on the corn. So you can take a pinch at a time and just put it on top.
All right, so we're gonna also put queso fresco, which is the Mexican style cheese, and we're gonna put it on top of the corn as well. Okay, so for the chips, we're gonna be needing corn tortillas. And we're gonna cut them into our chips. So I'm gonna take three at a time. And first, we're gonna cut it down the middle. Make sure it's even, guys. Um, and then cut it again. I rotated it. Then we're gonna cut it down the middle here in between the triangles. Then rotate it again and cut it. And we have our chips. Look at that. Super, super easy. All right, so now we are done cutting our chips and now we're gonna put it into the oil and you gotta make sure your oil is at least 350 degrees. You wanna fill up like one third of your pot. We're gonna turn it on medium high heat and let it bring up to heat. We're just going to put the chips in the oil. Let them fry up for at least two minutes. All right, so make sure you look at it and you can press the chips down so it cooks evenly. And we'll check on these in about two minutes. So this is how the chips look like after they're done cooking and they're well seasoned. These are some good homemade chips, y'all. Y'all gotta make it. All right, guys, so that's how you make elotes, Melani style, homemade chips and homemade pico. So what do we do after we cook? We eat, exactly. So we're gonna take a chip, we're gonna get some pico, That is really good. Now, our taki elote. Let's get this closer to me. Oh my goodness. This is so good. For the cheddar jalapeno Cheeto elote. So personally for me, I like the Taki one better, but you guys comment which one you guys like more if you guys try both. And until next time guys, bye. And homemade chips, boy. But. Oh, now for the twips, no, I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs>
Okay, sorry.